In this All About Symbian video, we're going to take a look at the widgets and kinetic scrolling that were being demonstrated on the Nokia N97 at MWC this year. When the N97 was announced at Nokia World, it was still very early days and the software wasn't very mature. At MWC, you got a much better idea of the widgets that would be on display. Here we can see some of them from Bloomberg, Facebook and AccuWeather. Others, not shown here, include LinkedIn and MySpace, and there's likely to be a significant collection of widgets by the time the N97 launches later this year. The widgets on the home screen generally open into a full application. Here, for example, is the Facebook widget showing its inbox view. Widgets can also take advantage of on-phone features. Here's the Facebook widget, which can be used to upload a picture, either directly from the camera or from the gallery. The N97's home screen widgets are an essential part of the device's experience and go a long way to improving the overall usability and interaction with web services. The second thing I wanted to note was the implementation of kinetic scrolling, also known as flick scrolling, on the N97, as you have on the G1 and the iPhone. This very much improves the browser experience, something that I've criticised on the 5800. You can also see there's a double tap to zoom in and out, again something which makes it much easier to get around web pages. Given neither of these elements were fully demonstrated at Nokia World, it's a great example of how software improvements during the course of a development of a device are becoming increasingly important and something we may see more of before the N97 is released in June.